let's talk about position properties. Okay, so we can move an object by using its position properties. And here are some of the position properties. Left, right, top, bottom, center X, and center Y. Okay, so here's what this means. Okay, if we wanted to, and let's go back to our, uh, our code here. If I create a rectangle, okay, uh, and we'll create it just at 200, 200, uh, and we'll make it uh, 50 by 50 again, right? So nothing exciting. Okay. Let's run this, and there it is, okay? If I wanted to, I could move this rectangle uh, based on not just its, uh, you know, look, its current coordinates, I, like moving this 200 and this 200 and this 50, right? I can instead say, uh, well, let's create a variable. Uh, we're going to call this black rectangle, right? And if I wanted to, I could then call on my variable called black rectangle, okay? And I could call, say, let's make the top of the rectangle zero, okay? And so if I run this, it's not really taking into account any of these things except to make sure that it's still like 50 by 50. It's not changing any of the original properties. But then once we define that the top coordinate of the rectangle should be at zero, it's going to move the entire shape and all of its points up to that location, right? And I can do this with any of these special properties. So I could say black rect dot, oh, we'll just do the same one here, okay? Uh, dot center okay, is gonna be at 200, right? I want it to be right in the middle of the canvas, right? I can do that for center X and center Y, right? And that's gonna make sure that this rectangle's center point is right in the middle of the canvas, right? And so if I hold down the control key, you can see that even though well, I don't have to hold down the control key for this one, but you can see that even though I created this at 200, 200 as the top left corner, the moment I defined the center of the rectangle at 200, 200, it kind of moved everything now, right? It moved it so it's centered right here in the middle at 200, 200, right? So we can use these position properties very similar to how we were able to access the original uh, parameters of the, the rectangle. We can also uh, change some of these special position properties Okay, and then I can do the same thing with size. There's a width and a height. So I start off with a 50 by 50 rectangle. Okay, and so what I can do is I can change the width of this to be, let's say, instead of 50, I can make it 100. Okay, let's get rid of this other one for right now. Okay, and if I run this now, okay, now it's creating something that's at 200, 200, the top left corner. Okay, it starts off as being 50 by 50, but I change the size property of this rectangle to be, I'm sorry, the, the width to be 100 instead of to being 50, and it's creating now a, a wider rectangle. And then we also have what's called the align properties, okay? So align is kind of weird. I can't use align like I am right here. I can't change the alignment, but when I create the rectangle, okay, I can uh, use the align, and I can do something like this, and I can say align equals center, okay? I think center might have to be in quotes, I'm pretty sure, okay? Let's put center in quotes, okay? All right, so here's what this means, okay? When I create this shape, instead of it being defined by the top and the left, which is the default for a rectangle, okay? I'm saying I want you to create this uh, from the center instead, okay? So you can see now, well, let's get rid of this second line here, make it a nice square, okay? So you can see now that even though I wrote 200, 200 here, Okay, which is typically how we would define a rectangle's top left. Because I defined this as being aligned center, this 200, 200 is now representing the center location, not the top left, okay? And I can do that for any point. I can say, I want this these first two coordinates not to be top left. Maybe I want them to be like left bottom, right? So let's do that. So if I do this, and let's see again if I type this correctly, left bottom, okay, and run this, you can see that now 200, 200, is in the left bottom, right? Here's the catch with this thing though, right? When I do this, okay, I can't change the alignment, right? So it's not like width and top and bottom and all those other properties. Once I create a shape with an alignment, the that shape's alignment is set, okay? I, I can't change that later on, okay? So if I wanted to create the shape with the left bottom being 200, 200, whenever I change these two coordinates, I'm always gonna be changing the left bottom. Right, so just be careful with that, right? And you can see on here, left top, right top, left bottom, this is the way you should be typing them, right? I can also just do like left, for example, okay? And what that will do is we'll, it will only uh, lock this property in to be 200, right? So that the other one is still at, uh, 
is still kind of being defined normally, but the, the X coordinate will always make sure it's over at 200. Every shape also has its own special properties, right? So we can't go through all of them, but you can change different properties. Like for example, if we were to go to docs and colors, okay, I might go here and type in like regular polygon, okay? And I can see that regular polygon has uh, this thing called points, right? If I go to star, for example, Right, star has this special one called roundness. Here it is, okay? And so each sh shape has its own special properties that if you wanna manipulate them and change them, they might not be one that you're familiar with because they are specific to that shape, okay? So again, the docs and colors tab, if you just search for it, you will see all of the different properties that you can fill in and manipulate as you're creating your code. App properties, okay, the app command is not something that uh, is not an object itself. Like for example, I use black rect here because I created a variable called black rectangle, right? And that is something that I can change and manipulate its properties, okay? There is also something called the app. And the app, instead of being like a particular shape, is just the entire program, right? The entire uh, like canvas and, and like the overall program itself. So it has its own properties too. Okay, and they're gonna be slowly rolled out over the course of the uh, the uh, class, right? But the one you need to know about now is app background, okay? And so what this allows me to do is to change the color of the background, right? To anything I want, right? And so this changes the entire background color of the canvas to be a particular color, okay? And again, this word app is an object that refers to the entire canvas not to a specific circle or something like that. So it's a, a special keyword that is used in CMU to define the entire um, background, right? So again, you'll see more app properties rolled out as the units go along. But for right now, just know that app background is gonna be used if you wanna change the background color of the entire canvas.